so inspirational. I even get to make a bracha in the sukkah. Baruch Hashem, thank you for the grossmans. Thank you that she's a good cook as well. Doesn't hurt. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Bari Minei Mezaynes. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedishan V'Metzvaisa V'Tzivanu Leishev B'Sukkah. Baruch Hashem, she, he's a very, very lucky man. So this sukkah, Baruch Hashem, it's so inspiring. And it, I mean, look around you. Look, first of all, have you ever seen such beautiful art, Baruch Hashem? This is a picture of of the view of Yerushalayim and the Beis Hamikdash, and obviously it's going to it, it, it's showing the Asid Mitzvah Hashem what's going to be Eretz Zavas Chalav Udvash because. That is how Eretz Yisrael will be when Mashiach comes, and that's obviously what inspires the Grossmans for the whole year, which is Gewaldic. And you can see uh, the Dvash streaming down. Um, it's probably supposed to be yellow. Okay, but then over here they have so many beautiful things, so many beautiful, uh, you know, the the Alamechia, Kalkalav, Tnuvas Hasade. And over here they have Nitilas Lulav, which, by the way, I have to do. And then over here, this is Vayu Einecha Ra'os Esmorecha. And that is why it's so inspiring to have uh, uh, pictures of Tzadikim um, in, in, in doing Lulav and Esrog with the Talis. It's really, it's really very nice. <laughs> Another bracha, it's so nice, Baruch Hashem. And this, this is click. This is mamish. This is brilliant. You have to see this because Rabbi Grossman showed it to me. I was, I was like, hey, I was so inspired. It was, good. it's unbelievable the things that they have these days. So it's a window, obviously, in the sukkah, and it, it opens very many ways. I'm not really sure all the ways. But up, one down like this, so we can get ventilation and nobody chas v'shalom passes out because sukkah's time. We have a lot, a lot of guests. Could get a little bit stuffy. Not everybody has a massive sukkah, but you know. And then it, there's another way of opening it. Like I think it's like this, this way. And it's right under v'samach to bechagecha with a dancing menshela. Oi, Hashem, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry, Rabbi Grossman. I'm about to fix it. It's going to be b'seder. Oi, Chanela, this is not very good. I don't want to break your chas v'shalom. It's going to be mitzayer them and this time of happiness. Ah, I got it, Baruch Hashem. So, so that's why you can see oh, the, 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 the decor and, and the grapes, the anavim, anavim, igiyas, mangu, laschem. Look, you see, this also is very inspiring. The grapes is going to inspire the coming of Mashiach. Igiyas, mangu, laschem, and then the Beis HaMikdash will be uh, rebuilt. I, I'm, I'm very happy with this sukkah. I'm very happy with people and, and what inspires them. And this mishpacha is, is mamish gewaldik. And so, and so is the kugel of Baruch Hashem. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay, so, so let's go on to, to the next um, uh, um, the next sukkah and see what inspires, pardon me, the next people. And I can't say alamicha because I couldn't eat it because I'm, I'm, I'm a little full, but I just wanted to do it for the mitzvah. Okay, come Chanel, come Amal. Chanel, I just, I, I, you know why I stopped right here? Because I want to show you everything can be an inspiration. Uh, uh, even this sukkah over here, this sukkah, uh, as you can see, is obviously puzzle because as we know in Mishnah sukkahs, you're not allowed to have a sukkah under a tree, a branch. Uh, but, but this teaches you to be down the caps foot. And it's so nice that these people also, I'm sure they put it up to show you what not to do. Uh, so, so, don't do this. <laughs> okay, Hannah, look up. Let's go shine to the next one. But it's so nice, even though it could be for the rest of the year, a place to go in. Uh, come on. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, this, look at this. This is Mamish Simchas Chaim. This sukkah, Mamish, it makes me smile, Pasha. And, and that alone is so inspiring. Uh, actually, this sukkah belongs to my Yedita uh, in Nama Rachel Ben Lulu, um, as she would say, Naama Rachel Ben Lulu. <laughs> She's a, a sparty Yid. I love her so much. She says these. And anyway, look at 
all these beautiful colors. I mean, honestly, how could it not be inspiring? I, you know, I actually would think that um, the, the Ohel of Avram Avinu looked something like this because it's so much color and, and you know, like the Yidin were all so different, yet we come together and that's what makes it Sukkot Shalom and that's what Avram Avinu was all about. Shalom, peace, hachnasas uh, archim. It's so beautiful. Mom is lovely. Uh, usually she has a little bit of a... <laughs> a little bit of a Zemmer Sephardi. It makes me uh, want to dance. Of course, I keep it very tame, but oh, it's so beautiful. It's, it's Mavish. It's Mechama Mesalev. I don't know why it makes me do this Tanua, this movement. It just does. Apparently, I think it made her do this Tanua as well, because I was wondering why there were so many light bulbs in this book. Now I know. I mean, of course, ours are Royal Atatiku and Shrey Lake Simcha, but this is a... So many different, you know, signonim, different lights. It's so beautiful, but yes, I, I love it very much. Ah, oh, it's so, it's so nice. It's so inspiring. Uh, Hanala, I think this is one of the most inspirational sukkahs I've seen yet. It's slow and peaceful and. Oh, I can stay here all day. Okay, I'm getting carried away. Come on, let's go to the next sukkah. Okay, let's see what there is in. Oh, 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 window. Not a very good exit. Okay, so um. I go through the Dallas. Oh, I have to tell Nama. She would love it if I say to her, uh, I felt Mama uh, 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 She loves it. I imitate her back. It's all in good humor. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, Chanel, so this sukkah, it was a long day. Um, this sukkah belongs to a Yadida of mine. Her name is Danielle Jacobs, and she's a very, very artistic and very spiritual person. So I figured uh, the combination of the two would make her sukkah very, very uh, special. And uh, uh, as you can see, uh, I think I'm right. I mean, look at this wall over here. Uh, first of all, uh, it's so bright and, and lovely. And uh, over here it says the word Sukkot, which is very nice. And um, then we have over here the Shiva Saminim, Echita, Saora, Gafin, Tena, etc., etc., and Dvash. And it was beautiful that she actually drew the Dvash with the actual honey, which is very artistic again. I think she drew all this Kinahara. Very, very nice. And, and moving on to the next wall. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, well, they're masks. Uh, and, 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 I, I think what she's trying to, uh, her inspiration is, 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 is people are, are, are sometimes mask themselves behind a, a facade of, of, of some sort and then, and then it's time to take it off and, 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 and be anesthetic about who you are and not just mask things. <coughs> Oy, I'm sorry about that one. <laughs> Maybe this was the inspiration actually for this wall. I don't know. Okay, moving along. Uh, it's beautiful flowers. Ah, uh, oh, this is so lovely. Look at this. Some people have tzaddikim hanging on their walls, and other people have their kinderlach, which happens to be, uh, they are tzaddikim. And you know what? Um, when you inspire to something, you become that something. So, so, so her inspiration is her family, as you can see. Mishpacha is so lovely. She takes beautiful photographs because she's a she's actually a, a phenomenal photographer, Kinahara. Ay, Chanela, look at this. This is Mamish Gibaldi. This is this is really Chanela, do you see? Do you see? No, really, do you see what she was trying to say here is the inspiration? Because I'm not Oh, okay. This is a bucket of, uh, I think this is the water coming onto the plant. Oh, it's Mayim Chayim, Mayim Chayim. Mayim coming onto the plant, which makes the plants grow just like the Torah. The Torah is the Mayim Chayim. And we are the plants, and the Torah makes us grow. Do you see that? Do you see how deep she is? Kinahar is amazing. And then, and then, and then the masks. Yes. Okay, and over here, <laughs> oh, she's so, she has a great sense of humor she has, a very great sense of humor. Not everybody can get it because everybody's different. Okay, so then over here, there's the colors, and we love colors because car colors are the uh, epic of Simcha, which is Man Simcha saying there's so many nice things and paint all over everybody. Very nice, very nice. I, I knew it would be very interesting, so okay, Hanela, come. Let's go to the next. 
food. Let's get to the next uh, sucker and, 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 and see what else. Okay. <laughs> Honey, look, do you see how sick this sucker is? It's not much, it's so, it's tiny. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Uh, apparently, this is called the pop-up sucker because it literally just, it pops up. <laughs> you know, maybe I should have used this last year instead of working so hard. <laughs> oh, it's so sick. You know, this is very, very inspiring, and I'll tell you why, because this is so small, and it shows people not everything has to be so big and so grand. And this is Mamish Asuka Lishma, and it teaches you a little bit of Anivas, just like Harsina. Everything is small, petite, cute, zis. Okay, come, Mama, let's go inside. Let's see what there is in here. Well, apparently not much, but that's inspiring because again, we're up to Aniva, so you don't need so many things when, when, when you, when you want to be an Anav. And uh, also, um, you know, there's enough room for Lilith and Esther, which is the mitzvah, and that's what we need. And I also think that this is gewaldic for, uh, for, 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 for breath of Hasidim. You know, when they go, uh, they like to go in the yard and do his bodedus, and this is perfect for his bodedus. <laughs> I mean, you can't get much lonelier than this. Yes. Oh, also, you know, if they get hungry, they, they, they could just pop, pop up the sukkah and eat a little bit of something and continue their davening takas baruchah, which is very inspirational. I mean, this is really very nice. It's just, it's a little tiny, but it has the, the you know, the schach. Oh! I kind of, that wasn't very good, Mamala. Um, oh, yeah, the coins are so nice and so gewaldic for letting me do this. Um, 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 I, I, I just, I feel so bad. You think I want to, I want to chas v'shalom destroy their sukkah? Absolutely not. And besides, oh, 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 yeah, shem chanel of Amala, turn it off. It's really, it's not, it's not, it's not appropriate, Neshamala, at this point, to, to, to have this going. And also, the, 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 the they're not here yet, Baruch Hashem, but, but please, Hanala, just help me. Just check. You know, I'm not, I'm not very good with these things. So, Hashem, please help me. I just wanted to do a little bit of good things. I didn't mean to, to be, oh, look, popped back up. <laughs> okay, I think it's it's enough for today, Baruch Hashem. We got inspiration. And we also it, it built a sukkah in the middle of sukkah, which is probably a good thing. But, oh, okay, Hanala, please, Mama, just shut it off. I, I really do need your help a little bit just to put this back on. Baruch Hashem, I got it up. I just, I can't do this on my own. Also, I'm, I'm being Marim dying. You know I don't like to do that. Hanala, please, please shut it off, Misham. I don't want to get upset, Chas Vishal. On Sukkot, Sman, Please, Hanala, come over. Shut it off. Hey! Hanala? 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 Hanala?